Hello and welcome to another episode of Analog Insights in Corona Times. It will be episode two of One Shot. And uh, I also would like to talk a little bit about pre-visualization and a pre-mediated image concept. It's not new, it's not my idea. I uh, found it first time when I was reading this book from Ansel Adams, The Camera, and he's talking in chapter one um, about pre-visualization. And that means that it can be, or usually that it is, beneficial if you have an idea, if you have an approach to the sujet that you want to photograph, and if you are prepared with the equipment, with the right lens, perhaps with some filters, film material, so that it makes it easier to get the image that you intended to get or that you have seen, not with your eyes, but with your brain. Um, and this thing, which is usually beneficial, can also be a trap. And the longer I'm photographing and the longer I'm following this pre-visualization concept, I see myself stepping into this trap because I'm too precise with my imagination what I want to have and what I want to see in the final image. So the idea was to get an image um, of an asparagus field, which is in the Schussen Valley, that's close to the place where I'm working. And I see it nearly every day when I'm uh, driving between the hospital and the place where I stay. And I see it in the evening sun and this asparagus field is covered with a plastic foil to protect the asparagus from getting too dry. And uh, I saw in the late daylight this shimmering uh, plastic foils and I, I had the idea of a quite impressive image. And uh, when I then stopped at this place one evening, walked to it and tried to find an angle of view where I could get the image that I intended to get, I had to realize uh, that it was an idea and that the idea perhaps wasn't too bad, but I couldn't find uh, the right place to take the image. So I didn't do the image. And on the way back to my car, I found a sculpture which is made by a guy who has a car body repair and um, with quarterly changes he always has new sculptures which are uh, exclusively made from parts or for, from complete cars from uh, old Volkswagen bucks and this time there was a sculpture which I call the Buck Lady and then I want to talk about um, another disappointment with a pre-visualized concept. Um, I see on my daily way also a situation in the landscape from the street and I had the idea of this uh, metallic shimmering silo in the late evening light and with a dark sky in the background and uh, when I went to this place I had to realize that I couldn't get the angle of view that I had when I was passing by with my car. So once again I had an idea which was not the worst but I had to realize that it was impossible to take the image that I had seen with my brain. Um, so let's step into Let's see how I did the images and um, then we will see you later to discuss the final prints.
Okay, so the negatives came out quite well and uh, I will do now the first test print to find out the correct uh, exposure for the paper. And as a first orientation I used the last prints I did on this uh, Forte paper that was 37 seconds for the final print. I used the same combination of developer and fixer and that means that I start first with an exposure of 8 seconds and then um, I extend it in parts of 5 seconds and I will see what finally then will be the best exposure for this print. And when I found out the correct exposure I will do a final fine print. Um, I will not do the same mistake as the last time, I will wait until the print is completely dried and then I will evaluate it and perhaps I need some uh, additional treatments to get the final print.
Now it's Friday night, darkroom work is done and I have two prints. Um, I didn't show you in the lab session how I inserted the 120 film into the film spool. I think uh, this is something for a special lab session for all of you who want to see how you insert a 120 film into a film spool and into a developing canister. Um, the final prints that I did, it's been two, came out quite well from a technical point of view. I'm also satisfied with the print of the Bug Lady. And very impressive for me is that you can see in the polished face of this sculpture the landscape in the background and everything is pin sharp so quite satisfying this image. The other image is the one uh, where I've been talking about pre-visualization and the expectations that you can have sometimes uh, to a print and the disappointed, disappointment if the final print doesn't meet your expectations. In this case I have to see uh, that from a technical aspect everything was done right. Um, I see in the silo the bright reflections and the contrast that I wanted to have, but finally the subject was the wrong one and I need to go scouting for another silo that meets my expectations more and I will keep you updated if I found finally the subject and if I finally got the image that I wanted or that I intended to have. Um, before I say goodbye I would like to say thank you to all of you who left all these very kind and very friendly comments for our first session of One Shot. I was deeply touched and um, it's really inspiring and motivating for us so once again, thank you so much for your comments. But now I would like to say goodbye. Um, thank you for watching this episode of Analog Insights. If you like these episodes, tell it and share it with your friends and leave a comment in the comment section below. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, stay well and goodbye. <music>